Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. Today we're going to paint a simple, easy floral wreath using just a few colors and only one brush. This is a simple wreath any beginner can do. So let's get started. Okay, to start, um, go over my supplies as always. I have a piece of Arches 100% cotton paper. This is a pad that I use. You, you can find this pretty much any art supply store. This is the green one. It's 10 by 14 inch. Um, I have like a bowl. You can use a dish. I think this one is probably like a little small, like a little six inch diameter. Um, my paints, pa paper towel here. I'm going to be using my Princeton long round brush, velvet series. I have water jars up here. Um, sometimes when I do florals, not always, Sometimes I just make it up as I go along and I just make the colors up. But sometimes I might do like a test to see which colors I want to paint. So a test strip. So I'm primar primarily going to be doing, basically it's, this is the same color, just more water. So it lightens it up. This uh, coral pink. And then I have like a nice yellow and a medium type green. It's mixed with like, you could call it a sap green. And then I'll throw in some accent colors. Um, I might even throw in a brown too, but you know, I'm trying to figure out, do I want a dark blue with this? So you take away these two and you have that dark blue accent, vice versa. You can take away these. You want the orange accent, the, this is like more of a purple, or do you want this blue? Oh, I do them all actually. Um, you can play around. I would. I would actually paint the color tones that you're thinking about on a scrap of the same paper that you're going to be using because it will be different in every single piece of paper that you use. So in order to keep it consistent to the colors that you want on this paper, paint it on a scrap piece. Like I did another one over here. I was doing like a bunch of different colors. I thought maybe I used really a whole bunch of colors. Sometimes I don't know as I go along, I might change it. So we're gonna flip the bowl or whatever plate you have. This is so simple. We're gonna draw a circle for our guide. I'm using a 2H pencil. Use whatever pencil you have. Um, if you have a darker pencil, I suggest you put the pencil down so you can see that, but I, I always uh, take my gum eraser and just take off most of the color of the pencil. I can s just barely see it as my guide, but I like not to be able to see it. So doing a simple wreath, it's just a matter of like placement also with flowers. Do you want a lot of big flowers all around it? Do you want it mostly on one side? Do you want it mostly to the left? Do you want it mostly to the right? Do you want it mostly on the top? Um, there's so many different ways to make a floral reef and just use simple flowers in the beginning I have show you so many tutorials on my <laughs> YouTube page I mean I have a million of them um, how to make simple flowers so I'm going to grab my brush I'm going to put some water on it I take this color that I mixed basically it's a mixture of this pink with the medium red it has this beautiful um, coral leaf kind of pink see same color as the one I painted here, pretty much. Oh, I'm a little brighter. It will dot. It will dry the, um, lighter than that. So we're going to start by doing flowers first, placing them wherever you want them to be. I would probably. I tend to kind of go to left, and we're just going to do simple four or five petal flowers. Basically, taking the tip, swooshing around. Tip, swooshing around, making a big circle ovaly kind of thing. And I'm going to move this out. Let me zoom in so you can see. See, I'm just using that. I use the belly to fill it in. This one's going to be a five petal flower. Kind of mixed into the, this one over here. Just a simple flower. I'm going to leave little white spots here and there. Uh, 
Um, another trick you can do if you want the yellow center, you can start off I'm grabbing my yellow paint here. So you need to throw in some yellow. I can bleed a little bit. If it's bleeding too much, just take it up with the paper towel. Go back in and fill in the color. And then you can just do the yellow later. Or if you know you're going to have a yellow center, I start off with the yellow center. You know the placement of the flower is going to be about this big over here, so you put it in the middle. Just do some little lines going outward, little dots on top, and your little center. And you shake off your brush. Am I going to use the same color? Maybe. Maybe make it a little darker. Or a little more red. Just to change it up, because it's going to be kind of boring if it's the same thing next to each other. So here we go. I'm going to do this little petal flower here. And then you can go in. close to the yellow center. So you made this a little more red. Now you can touch the center, but not too much. There you go, they got the two pink flowers, and I'm going to throw a, th a third flower in between them. Um, I might make this one yellow. Again, simple flower shape. And it's going to be behind. these guys. So you've got your simple flowers going right here. Right? Zoom out. From there, you can figure out where you're going to place the other ones. So grab your pink paint and your red. Mix that same color. And you might keep these bigger and the rest smaller, more dainty. So out here, I might do some smaller ones. Same kind of flower or a little jagged on the petals. Just to give it a variety. Or even smaller. Very dainty, tiny flowers. Even smaller, even lighter. And then again, placing it up here, up top. Now, we want to do the same thing with the yellow center. Again, the little lines, little dots on top. And then you go and add your pink. It doesn't matter if these kind of colors are aren't all the same, they're in the same tonal family. And they're like the hot colors. See, I'm just moving that paintbrush, making these simple petal strokes. It's kind of this swooping back and forth movement. And it just touched the yellow. Just doing some smaller ones. I'm gonna go grab. I'm gonna grab some dark yellow. I think that yellow is a little too pale. And then put a yellow flower here. You can keep it the same, or you can make it more like a daisy or a black-eyed Susan. That's a little bright, so I'm gonna take some of that color away. Now you can start adding some greenery. 
I like I had mixed up the green here earlier. It's kind of like a sap green. And we're just going to make like a, a line, a branch going towards the flower. And then we're going to make simple petals coming, I mean leaves coming from it. And how this brush is great, you're just pushing down and pulling up, pushing down and pulling up. See that? This is like the easiest wreath ever. Just pushing down, pulling back down pulling back creates these great leaves now you can have them all going this way and down like this way I have them going like kind of opposite ways but that's fine either way you want to do it this brush works even backwards see I had, I had it pushed down this way coming towards me now I'm going to pull it out towards the other way. Do the same effect. Just backwards. Pushing down, pulling away. If this color is too light for you, you can always make it darker. So I already get building that wreath and then we're going to just keep doing more add-ons. I might grab some brown. I have burnt umber over here. Pretty loose and watery down. And throw in some branches on top. And if it bleeds, well then wait till it dries. Or just go over here. This one hasn't had one yet. Just simple little branches. They can come out of the wreath and grab the, make another color. I actually brightened it up with this um, emerald green. Got the hooker's green. And I'll add some burnt umber. I'm going to put some leaves outside of the flowers. Just simple leaves. building up on this wreath. If that color seems a little too bright, you just mix in some brown. It just pulls it out. So we're going to add some leaves around our flowers. Keep doing that till we feel like it's achieving the goal that we like. And now we're going to go in and add another branch. Again, a little darker with that brown. You can have it swoop up towards the inside of the wreath or swoop down this way, out here. We'll add little branches from it. And here you can put your accent berries. Now, remember we did this test strip? Which colors you want? I think I'm gonna do the indigo. Something about this blue with these pale yellow and pink flowers are pretty. And you could actually, if you want, put some brighter one, I mean, ones right next to the pale flowers. A fairly large, and we'll add the stems into them later. This is just going to pop. All the flowers in the leaves. Now see here, it's kind of out in its own. We will add some more leaves. Can you mix in more green? 
a little too bright. To this stem. We don't have to add it to the other ones if we don't want to. And another leaf up here. And I would add a darker leaf down here. You're kind of balancing out the color. And over in here, I might want to add some more pink. So it's just a constant filling in. Um, looking to see where you want, you're missing colors. Might add in another pink red flower over here. Another one here. These are just small little ditzy flowers. Can add one up in here. So you're playing around as you build, you're building the wreath as you, you look at it and you see where the balance is. Now these flowers are kind of flat. I like to go in and add detail, make it a little darker tone. Not in every part of the, the petal, I'll add this detail. I'm just taking the tip of the brush and making some lines around the flower petals. Same thing here. Just to pull it up to the forefront, give it some definition, some depth. You don't want to just, just plain old flat flower. Keep building the color. Throw in some darker elements towards the center. Same thing over in here. And that darker pink red, I keep mixing things, it's very creamy, it's n barely any water. You could go in and add even more ditzy flowers. It's almost like opaque. You can kind of get away with it like wash if it's really thick and the color underneath it is really light. It's a trick you can do. And figure out where around here you'd want to add another one of those type of flowers. Mm, a little ditzy flower. Make it kind of like a wildflower. You're just going to be constantly playing around looking at what section of this wreath is missing something. See this is a little fly out. It's a nice touch and then you can even take the brown, add a little yellow to it. It's kind of like a yellow ochre. And do some wisps. Around that one that's flying out. You want this to be a loose, fun wreath. You don't want it to be so serious. See, it pulled the pink paint. That's okay. Just making these wisps. So it's wild and free. And the berries connect those. And getting a little darker brown in here. You're constantly building out the wreath. If you didn't put the center in early, you can go and add it when it dries. And yellow centers. Doesn't have to be yellow. Could be that navy that we have there. Again, I'm going to add in the deeper value of the pinks. To brighten up the flowers here. 
just using the tip, just one brush, this whole entire wreath using one brush. I kind of want to keep that color pale and I don't want to add anything to it. And you could have done the same thing with the other ones if you didn't want to add the element of a darker tone and some of these flowers, you don't have to do that. I just did that in some of them. Here you don't have to add yellow, you can add the darker tone pink for the center. Not right here. You can add little wispy red berries. You're just constantly building. So you're adding the darker tone. If you don't like that, you can go in and add the indigo. So the yellow might want an indigo center. And you actually add some little stamens. Kind of like a poppy. Same thing up here. I always add that little halo. And just the little lines and the little dots. It looks like a poppy. Very simple. Um, over in here, the yellow kind of faded out. So I'll go back in and add some of that deep golden yellow. I might add some highlights just a little bit here and there. Careful seeing that lid bled out. You want to just stop that. Stop the bleeding. <laughs> and you might want to add some yellow touches in other areas, just a little swash of color. Could be a teeny little yellow flower. Just to balance out the yellow. Because we didn't really have any yellow over here. Just adding another little ditzy yellow flower here. Can add some yellow coming off these little sprigs. Whatever you want to do. It doesn't have to be yellow, pink, green. It's what I did. I think this is really simple. Very pretty. This would be a great gift to give to your mother for Mother's Day or a friend. So you're just adding in some of that yellow and a little bit of brown. And that's pretty simple, don't you think? A floral wreath. Again, keep the greenery the way it is. You can go in and add beans, details. If you want, make it more serious. Or keep it simple, loose. But this is such an easy tutorial. Go ahead and add some deeper tone greens too to balance it out. See, I'm going right on top of that. Because that green was light, you can do that. Just keep playing around with it. Adding some more little cute little elements. The little ditzy flowers coming off are a nice touch. You can add some little teeny weeny leaves coming off the branches. It's a nice delicate touch. All with this brush because this brush does everything. It's the beauty of this uh, Velvet Touch series. The long round it has this nice long tip. Great size belly so you can put a lot of stuff in there. See, I'm just keep adding. That's all you do. So I hope you like this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. I try and answer them. I can't always answer them. I'm kind of busy. <laughs> but um, like I said, any colors you want, you can do, if you didn't want to do pinks, you could have kept to the, the cool family, purples, blues, greens, and that one is just as pretty and change up the flowers. You could have had pansies roses but you know see how simple that was you figure out one side's a little heavier than the other or you could have it kind of consistent around it 
So I hope you enjoy this tutorial, guys. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.